So price range, that's huge, right? Like you need to purchase, especially your first home that you're comfortable with, um, with a mortgage payment, right? So your mortgage payment, usually if you're coming in as a first time buyer will be with an FHA mortgage and you will be paying property taxes, home insurance, interest, and your principal all in one chunk, okay? So that's your monthly payment every month. So let's say you are qualified for $500,000. That's fantastic, that's great. Do you need to shop that high? That's one thing that I always want my clients to think about. Just because you're qualified for a certain amount doesn't mean that you will be happy paying that mortgage payment every single month. What's your lifestyle like? Um, do you like to do things on the weekend? Do you like to have your kids in extracurricular sports? or activities? Do you have hobbies yourself that you like to exercise? Do you like going to dinner with your family once in a while? Do you like going on movie dates with your spouse? Like all of this is something you really need to take into consideration when thinking about your price range because it really doesn't come down to the amount the price of the home is. It's really about how much money you're gonna pay monthly. So let's say you're purchasing a home that has an HOA and high taxes well, an HOA is additional to that mortgage payment that I just mentioned with your principal, interest, property, taxes, and um, home insurance. Now you have an HOA to tack on. But is that HOA worth it? A lot of homes and neighborhoods in our area have HOAs and it's fantastic in some cases. But in some cases, you got to think, what am I actually getting for that fee? Um, so if you're paying a high HOA and you don't have access to a pool or a splash pad or something of that nature, then why are you even paying that, right? Taxes are another thing. Taxes um, vary from neighborhood to neighborhood. And that's really going to be dependent on how new the home is. So if a house is newer and has a lot of mellow roos that you still have to pay down, then your tax payment is going to be higher than maybe your neighbor's in the neighborhood right across the street that was built a couple years later or maybe didn't have as many Melaroos and special assessments attached to their tax roll. So in a nutshell, those are a lot of items that you have to think about in a price range. And so when my clients start looking, um, what I do is I set them up on the MLS portal with the criteria that they gave me, their max price range that they wanna go up to and um, we start filtering through the properties. And the way, reason I say we start filtering through the properties is because my clients will typically send me about 10 properties that they're super excited about. And I will literally go in with a fine tooth comb and I will check property taxes. I will check HOA. I will get an estimated payment from the lender based on you know the preliminary information that we have access to through the internet, MLS, tax roll, all of that. And then we figure out, okay, well, here's your estimated price uh, point per month, which ones work for you? And then usually we'll break that down to five. So from 10, we now have five properties that we're going to further investigate by going out and checking out, which is the funnest part.